Right, hey, and we're live. We're back at it. We're back at it from the Thunderdome. What the hell happened, Sydney? You all right? Come on, let's go in. Hey, guys, you're with Ryan here, the Pioneer. Sorry, it's a little late, late feeding, late night feeding, feeding time, late time, late time, fun time. Shared this video with friends. Oh, thank you. It's a new button here. I'm just going to, I'm just trying to hit it. I don't know what's going on. I'm hitting multiple buttons. Buttons are going left. Buttons are going right. It don't matter. We're going to do a quick feeding here tonight. Whew, it is a little dark. Again, we got the loft closed up tight. I still have the chute open. Wait for that one bird from the Silver Creek again. You see Ricky's loft closed up nice and tight. First thing we do here before dinner. We're going to close up the chutes. Still got some work to do tonight. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Carlos, thanks for being in the house. Happy days, happy days. All right. Oh, I forgot my scraper. Well, I'm going to have to... Oh, no, I got a scraper here. That's okay. I want to make sure I have my scraper. I got my shitty scraper, not my good scraper. But that's all right. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in with us. Robert Dottry, you're in the house. Everybody that's in the house, three of us are in the house. We're going to start the cocks off on a magical festival of fun. Food time is the right time. So let's just... Cold out? Yeah, you can see your breath. Dan Horner's watching. Thanks for tuning in, Dan. Here we go. We're going to bring the cocks into... house thanks for tuning in again people want to know well, what's the first thing i'm feeding today i already starting to add some fats to this start off with three fistfuls of the good stuff here and it's going to take them a while to eat this on the floor again we got the canola seeds not poppy seeds the canola seeds uh again i didn't scan actually the four four cocks that didn't go out in the two hens today but they're there don't worry they'll go out tomorrow everybody goes out tomorrow 150 percent pickford right now is at 1300 we're, we're coming to the end of this season so get it in now we want to have the highest pickford of the year we're gonna we're gonna look to beat 3500 if we hit 4000 we will throw in a super second pickford prize Again, can I ask you why you feed so late? Um, okay. My mind, corn thanks for in. Good question. Why did I feed so late? Um, well, to be honest. I know tomorrow they're probably not going to go out till about 11 in the morning, around that time. Uh, I want them to have, you know what, and they, they ate today around 12, I don't know, 12 or 1 o'clock they were eating, I, I believe. 
So I want to give them a little time to digest their first meal into this meal. Uh, you'll see in the earlier part of the races, I was feeding them a little. I was feeding them obviously earlier in the morning and earlier in the evening. Right now, it doesn't bother me to feed them this late. Uh, the digestion is working good, anyways. And these are light meals, so I actually kind of like to feed them. Just I mean, it's it's pretty cool here tonight, so I like feeding them at this time. Again, everyone's got a good appetite. Trevor's or Troy messaged me. They're looking good. Yes, they are looking good. Uh, Carlos, oh, your cockbird. I don't know where is he. He's here somewhere. I gotta just find him. <laughs> He's in here. There he is. I think he's right. Nope. That's ladies, man. There's yours, Carlos, right there. So we first feed the smallest of the smallest. Now we're going to hit them with a little bit of hemp seed. And I'll hit them probably with about three hemp seeds. But the reason I'll feed them first that sneaky mix is because I want them to eat, and here it is, I want them to eat what you see here in my hands. It takes a lot of work and concentration. And you'll see they're picking, picking, picking. I could add feed to the floor now, but let's let them lick it all up. Let's let them clean it up so there's no canola or poppy seed or little anything small in there. Now we're going to come and hit them with some hemp. And again, I do like feeding, try to feed them a little bit individual grains. I like it best. I don't like to mix this all together because they pick out what they want first. You know, if, if there's birds that don't like hemp seed, see these birds here, look, they're all waiting for the hemp, right? And there's still birds in the back cleaning up canola. Hold on. <whistles> now we're gonna go three, one, two, three. Three of the hemp seed. I'm actually going for hemp seed. There's the back of the weekend's winner. Congratulations to Wolf Hill Loft. Oh. Wolfie, I think Wolfie's won the pick bird twice. Wolfie's bird has won the pick bird twice. That's the only bird to do that. So we've done we've done some hemp. We've done the sneaky mix. And then we're going to hit them with the de pure. They're eating good. There's bubbles. There's the head of bubbles right there. There's old mittens. For those of you who like mittens, there he is. looking to see making sure all the, the hemp seed see this is all hemp seed here it's all cleaned up we don't give them anything else until this gets cleaned up now feeding this way takes time because now you start to know how much to eat all the good stuff okay now we're gonna come in with the depure I don't want to drop the old up here. Here we go. Oh, sorry about that. All right, here we go with some DePure. They're going to like, you never see birds go for barley like this. And again, there's more canola in here as well, or poppy seed. So we watch, watch the meat. I got nothing on the feed. I had uh, some pigeon power on the feed for the morning feed, and then the evening I've got nothing on it. Oh, Joe, wow, some, some questions. Good. Good night. I wish it was Tuesday. Why do you wish it was Tuesday? Uh, why do you wish it was Tuesday, Troy? Good evening, Joseph. Swoop Loop, Pioneer, Wolfie, Swoop Loop. Our birds came back. 
really thin from their last race. What do you feed? Uh, did you give them enough fat before the race? So you got to, I think, like our birds, they, they didn't come back thin. They had to work in the shoulder headwinds. Can you please get out of the feed? You're not getting this bloody mix. Sorry. You're going to... Um, <laughs> sorry. Swoop loop, let me get to your question here. It was a good question. It wasn't a bad question. It was a good question. Um, you know, when, when I'm flying into a headwind, I personally think you've got to build the fats up, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, or, or start on Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, and then a little bit Thursday, and then carbs, 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 carbs. And then when they come back, I like to give them anything they want. So if they want peanuts, they can have peanuts. If they want uh, hemp, they can have hemp. If they want sneaky, they can have a sneaky mix. If they want energy mix, they can have an energy mix. If they want some corn, I even give them some corn if they want. Normally, they, they kind of shy away from the corn, but that's okay. So that's sort of how we do it. We take our time feeding, and, and really, I, I like to really watch them eat. And again, I just gave them about another four fistfuls. Um, that's just me. Hurry Home Lofts watching. KJ Hay. I use hemp flaxseed, safflower hearts, brown rice. Yes, yes, yes. For a little snack. Ryan, your health says Tuesday night feeding. Your header. Well, that's just because... My sister wrote in the Tuesday night feeding. So we're pretending today's Tuesday, but it's really Monday. Again, guys, no need to get all, 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 uh, all in a dither. It's okay. We can pretend today's Tuesday. And as you're going to see here, you see those little, look at the flaxseed, look at the canola. Now, this is when you start to see they're finished. You can start to see they're finishing up. We got WrestleMania 3 going on here. I see the twizzling by this guy here. He's already telling me. I'm ready to roll. These birds worked over two hours today on the wing. Loft flying. So they did about an 80-mile toss. Cor oh, boy. I'm going to have to translate this one. How do I do it? Now, I cannot translate what Van Zorn is writing. Leah, if you're watching, if you could write, if you could do the translation for me, because it won't let me translate. You guys want another shot? Another shot. I like it. I'm trying to figure out how to... Leah, could somebody translate Van Zorn, what he wrote? I can't do it. Where I'm at? Uh, I'm not on the laptop. Uh-oh. So we're kind of stuck. Alfred? Whoops. Do you give energy when they come home? Oh, yes, absolutely. We give them energy when they come home. I give them energy. I give them sneaky. I give them uh, Jerry Black, uh, Jerry Black label, uh, peanuts. I give them everything, and I give them all on separate feeders. And I notice they like the sneaky mix. They love the energy mix. They like the Jerry Black label, and they absolutely love peanuts. Pretty much at any time, they'll put the peanuts away. So, I think, Frank, you translated that for me. Thank you. Cocks look real, real good. Real sharp. I can tell they're, they're just about done. One more little... Pretty much finished here now. What's in your energy mix? Ooh, I'll show it this week, guys. Uh, uh, there's a lot in it. <laughs> I'd have to, I'd have to get it um, out. I don't know everything in it. It's a Versalaga energy mix. 
It's a good mix. They like it. They don't like the, uh, I guess you'd call them fava beans that are in them. I mean, if you overfeed it, they'll leave the bean. So once they start leaving a bean, I just back right off. It's the same with the uh, canola seed. Anything, once they start leaving, I'm done. I'm done with it. Um, but again, they vacuum this floor up pretty good. Again, today is just bringing them down pretty much. I want them to still be hungry when I'm done feeding too. I, I don't, I'm not, I can see they want to eat. I can see though that they are satisfied. It's like, you know what? If you go on a first date with a girl, you normally never overeat. You're like, oh, I'll get a salad and, and six chicken wings, you know? You had to hit this, you had to hit the, the stick, didn't you? <laughs> the stick fell and look at how you guys act. You got all shy. So now we'll quickly clean out the box perches. Let me move their feed. And I know they want to eat. You can see they're coming up to the camera. They're saying, hey, we could have a little bit. We could have a little bit there. I'm going to clean their box perches out for a quick sec. You're going to watch them here on the floor, and hopefully they don't knock over the uh, camera. And then we'll bring the hens out. We'll feed the hens the exact same way. Again, guys, I'm not saying my feeding is the best method. I'm sure there's lots of guys that feed a hell of a lot better than me. We're just showing you how we do it so you know how we feed. So if you watch this race and say, hey, I want to participate, I wonder how the guy feeds. Well, now you know how the guy feeds. Oh, I'm using my second grade scraper. I hate this scraper. Nothing feels better than your, your good old faithful scraper. Don't knock the feeder over. Don't knock that camera over. Hey, the camera's not the drinker, guys. Emily Icorn's in the house. Uh, all right. What's in the water? I'm taking Van Zorn saying. Uh, I'm not treating for anything this week. Uh, they had the, they had all the, the good stuff on the day, the day after the return. Today they're just getting a bit of uh, glucose in the water. What do you put in the water on the return? Uh, on the return, they'll get like a Dextrotronic. Uh, electrolytes, stuff like that, uh, to build them back up. And I find these birds, and you can ask Frank Eichhorn, he's been, he's kind of done some of the things that we do, and the birds just bounce back right away on the Dextrotronic. A few things that we use from Versalaga. 
So there the cocks are. They're ready to have a good drink here in the guzzler. So give me a second. We're going to take the hens. As you can see, the hens are down in, the, in, in that room. We're going to take the dress off of them. Ah, for their feet time. And always, 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 when the birds come home, if they have electrolytes like the recoup, the carbine, the detox, or the dextrotronic, uh, anything that we put in the water, I always put the water, I make it up about an hour or two before, I get it nice and hot. So whenever they're drinking, they drink a nice warm water. So it's easy on their, their guts. It's easy on the inside. Now I'll take the drinker over. Excuse me. Come on. Okay. Up. We go for their drink. Now you wonder why did I put the dress there? Now I gotta put the dress over the top section. This just takes me about a second. Just gonna be patient, guys. Now we're gonna get the hens out. We'll take this down here. The hens know it's feed time. So here you go, you're gonna see me. See me now, for you guys wonder how we set this, uh, so the hens don't see the cocks. I could put a, a door in here, but it's not that wide. I should have made the section a foot narrower to make the hallway a foot wider, but you know what they say, I, Tony Malucci says, you build a loft a thousand times, Every time you always say I should do something different. So there we go. Cops are put away. Now it's time to play with hens, feeding hens. Let's see how they come out. Yes, 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 yes. I have to see if we can get that here, BS. It's super. I, I agree with you. It's just a matter of I use recovery from buyers. Same as what you use. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what Van Zorn is writing, it's a great product. I just don't know if I can get it into North America because of the laws and stuff. But uh, I, might, uh, I might get some for myself for next year. Uh, I have heard nothing but good from that company. So... Uh, here we go. All right, time to get our hens going here with some dinner. Yeah. You girls ready or what? Ready to come out in the hallway? Huh? You all ready to roll? Let's go. Come on. Ali, come on. Up. Come on. Up. Come on. Up. Come on, let's go. Wake up. Dinner time. Dinner time, dinner time, dinner time. Snacks for all. Come on, Mama, get off your baby. There you go. Yeah. Again, just like the cocks. Three shots of sneaky. We'll give them a four shot of sneaky. <laughs> BS Vander Vandy Weird is super supplement. Yes, 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 I agree. Okay, what do we got here? Ryan, what's the temperature in the loft? Give me a second, Troy. Bill Vargaris, do you have water? Do you do have well water where, uh, no, no, no. We're on like spring water or well water, yes. We don't have the shit from the city. Oh, Van Zorn wrote, he will bring it. Thank you, Alfred. That's what I love about Alfred. Yes, 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 please bring it. Let me know what I owe you. Uh, again, Alfred, super nice guy. Troy wanted to know the tempi in the loft. So let's just say here it's 56, 13. Okay, so there you go. 
56 or 13. I'm gonna take this out of the loft for a second while these hens are eating. I'm gonna put it on the landing board. Let's see if the temperature is much different outside. Let's just see. I'm just gonna put this out here on the landing board. Don't let me forget that, Troy. Oops. Sorry, cameras acted up. There's my man, there's a super flyer right here from the New Jersey area. Watch out, Dad, if you're coming in, please. Do you want to come in the other way? <whistles> or, Dad, you know what? Just come in this way. Just come in this way. Oh, fuck, I got the tarp now up. <whistles> Again, we just put this like this. You just got to watch me close that. It's warmer in the loft, it's nine outside. So she's 13, 13 and nine is about four or five degrees difference. Does it make a big difference? I don't know. Well, it makes a bit, but. I do feel it warmer in here. Ideally, if we could get this up here to about 70, 80 degrees, like 25 uh, Celsius, it'd be great. It would be nice to get it up to about 20, oh, it would be nice to be able to just wear no shirt, no socks in here and just walk in your bare oh, feet. 100%. And we're letting them clean up all that canola on the floor. They didn't get nothing else until they cleaned it all up. <laughs> Alfred, thank you, thank you. I can't wait to see you come down here. And guys, if uh, Alfred does make it, it will be, you will really enjoy meeting this gentleman. He's a super pigeon flyer. Him and his dad. Are right at the top of the game. Very small off, guys. Small off, big, big, big results. And he's not afraid to bring in new birds, try birds out. That's great. If you guys have any other questions, don't be shy. Yeah, warm, I'm just making sure. Did you, you learn... Your feeding tricks from your dad. I think we kind of feed the same. I think we feed the same. What do you think, Dad? Are a little different? Ah, it's close. Marion's in the house, guys. This week's winner's in the house. Give a congratulations to Wolfie. Well, I just... I think the best way to feed them is just taking your time and feeding them. Like, let them clean up everything that's in a mix. And you see, now we're gonna hit them with some hemp seed. <laughs> Zing, mare, where, oh boy. Something. Good wind. Good wind, yes. Not sure what Alfred said. Frank or Emily, if you can translate, that would be great. <laughs> Tomorrow again, we go back up. Tell me when. Ah, yes. Well, hey, if you want to come for your auction week, weekend, you can come here. We can go visit a couple lofts. Um, it's up to you. If you want to come before your auction, you're more than welcome to. Dad, grab me the barley in the other room. Uh, it's in that room there. Got a of yeah. <laughs> We're just going to get these hens fed, and then uh, I got some work to do still tonight. The hens are cleaning up the hemp. Yes, Alfred, we will talk when you're coming. Yeah, again, we go with the depurative mix again. 
nice light. And I like in the depurative here, they got to clean it all up. Everything's got to get cleaned. And you'll see in this depure, there you go. Real simple. Very nice, but they gotta eat everything. The little green balls, the canola, everything. The barley, if they leave anything, we stop feeding them. Oh. Oh man, Alfred's writing a lot. The pigeons have already arrived in Canada. Uh, they'll be here, I believe next week. Thank you for translating. I'm going in when you want me, call me. Yeah, I'm going to be about 10 minutes. I, I, could you do me one favor? Could you make a, that drinker up of water? Three spoons of the glucose. And then I'll give these hens it. I used it. Birds love it. Yes, the birds do love it. All the feed we feed, I find the birds love it. But that's what we're feeding here today. That is the Versalaga de Pure. Again, I like this de Pure. The birds get some good energy on it. I mean, they still have energy to work. They don't go down. They come down a bit in weight. But... Uh, Again, and you're starting to see the odd little bit of barley being left. I'm watching. I'm looking. See, sitting here feeding, I'm not just feeding and jibber-jabbering. You know, you watch. You watch to see. Look, you watch to see there's, there's a piece of barley there on the floor. That one little piece right there. You got to get it all cleaned up. Want one more? There you go. We'll come during the week that the pigeons are auctioned, and I would love like to meet the lovers. Yes, he would like to meet all of you guys. And you guys will get an opportunity. Maybe, just maybe, I can convince him to bring his trophy. His big trophy. <laughs> To meet the pigeon lovers, yes, uh, I think that would be great. The people would love to meet you guys. Uh, be, uh, you will really enjoy meeting Alfred. Too bad his dad probably can't make it, but another super, super pigeon, man. We're at the end here of feeding now. The hens are, a few hens in the back are just, she wants to go to her babies. How many pigeons back from race? Troy Spencer. Uh, we're only down one. Bill Wima, Bird. Uh, bets are off the Mealy Pied. I can't believe she's not home, but hey, even good pigeons will hit a wire. Who knows? Maybe she'll be back. We got everything home except for one. Richard had 25 out of 29 in an hour and 30 minutes. He had 20 out of 20 out of 29 in an hour. We had 30 out of 60 in an hour. And then uh, by the end of the day, I think we were down five five or six. So we got them all back the next day except for one. This grizzle here was our, uh, that red grizzle there was uh, the last bird in. And she, I'll tell you, she, looked, she still looks a bit beat. <laughs> a little bit beat. But that's okay. That's awesome. Yes, we try. Hopefully everyone's returns were good. Troy, how were your returns? Put your returns in in the comments below. Again, also, we look at when we're clocking pigeons, how fast can you get all your pigeons home? He will bring the trophy. Oh, boy, then I'll have to bring the champagne. We're going to celebrate. Uh, Alfred, post the trophy, the race it's from. I know what it's from. The number of pigeons were in the race. 
and how far you won by. <laughs> Alfred was putting on a show that weekend. <laughs> You're seeing the hens, they're now, oh, hold on, let me drop the Now we're just going to uh, scrape out the hens box quickly. You've seen them. They've... Oh, we're in the low power mode. Of course we are. He will bring the trophy. Thank you. Let's scrape out the hens real quick. Excuse me. This guys, first 29th, 87th, 38,000 pigeons. Woo! Congratulations, I guys. I didn't bullshit you. I told you. You guys, go check out his page. Dan Gregoric will be is in the house. Dan's coming down this weekend. Dan, your girl's ready to rock. Let's check the temperature in the big girl. Let's see what she's at now. Troy, you're a man of your word. Nine degrees. Nine degrees outside, it was 13. So there you go, goes to show you. Keep your windows sh shut as long as your loft breathes. We'll have to build that back up. 48, so it was warmer when it was in here. Now the hens will go up to their room. We're gonna wrap this broadcast up. Again, they go right up to their, right up to their box perches. He looks like a cock, that guy, but it's a hen. Don't worry. I want to thank Alfred again. Guys, check out his uh, his Facebook page. Van Zoren Racing Pigeons. Excellent, excellent results. Uh, I, again, I want to thank him for tuning in. We can take this down now. Cocks are are done. Let's just take a quick look at the cockbirds. There 
There you go. Everybody's up and on their perches. Two cocks got to go to their perches. So there's enough boxes. Everybody's nice. They got their own perch. Happy, happy campers. They got feeding them. They're good to go. Calvin Chi, let's say hi to Calvin. Calvin, meet uh, Alfred Van Zoren. He will be at season number three, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. And if he is coming, we will pick him up, yes, from the airport. I'm going to take him on a couple loft tours. Going to go show him Niagara Falls. We're going to have a good time. He'll be at our auction house. Talk to you soon. Stay safe, Robert. Yes, talk to you soon. Where is Lonely Wolf? He wrote Lonely Box. Wolfie, there's your man, Wolf. There's your winner. There's Wolfie right there. We're going to have to get Alfred to participate in our old bird races. I'll have to ask him if he is interested in participating. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he'd like to come down here and kick the shit out of some Canadians. <laughs> Anyways, guys, the uh, the hens are done. They're done eating. I got to go back to work. Uh, my day isn't over. I still got some birds moving. Good evening. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Guys, stay tuned with us tomorrow. We're going to have some more loft flying. Or maybe tomorrow we'll skip loft flying or we'll do loft flying but not show it. And then we'll just go with the feeding. I don't know. We're going to think about how it's going to roll. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Alfred, please drive safely. I know you're working. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Calvin, it's nice to see you first time on. That's great. Thumbs up. One more week to go, guys. One more week. 319 miles, over 500 kilometers. We're going to have headwinds. We're going to put the weight on the birds. I'm Ryan from the Pioneer. Thanks for flying with me, guys. Wait, last Saturday... Three in the first 20. <laughs> last Saturday, three in the first 20 of... Oh, last Saturday. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Look, guys, the guy's winning today. I'm not, I don't make this shit up. This is the truth. Follow him. Friend request him. He's one of the nicest guys. Him, his dad, his two kids, fantastic. Uh... And again, guys, small loft. I think my loft's bigger. My one loft is bigger than his whole loft. But he gets results. And those are the pigeons you want to add to your breeding program. Okay? I'm Ryan from the Pioneer. Thanks for flying with us. Emily and Frank. Frank and Emily, thank you for translating. That helps immensely. The hens are, the hens are getting turned on. Pity the season's almost done. I know. I want the season to go on forever. But that's why we're doing an old bird season and a young bird season. So we can do from basically April right till October. By that time, you'll hate me enough. You won't tune in anymore. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm Ryan from the Pioneer. HF Winter Police, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.